New Yorkers, we are in a crisis situation. Mayor Eric Adams declaring a state of emergency and issuing an executive order to direct relevant agencies to coordinate efforts to create intake centers for the asylum seekers. For months now, the mayor has been pleading with the state and federal governments for help. That assistance has not materialized. And now, a stern Adams with hat in hand once again. We need help, and we need it now. Migrants have been arriving by the busloads sent by governors of southern border states. Friday morning, Adams listed the staggering statistics. More than 17,000 asylum seekers since April. 5,500 migrant children are now enrolled in public schools. It will cost the city $1 billion by the end of the fiscal year to provide housing and services, and they're utilizing more than 40 hotels. And the city's shelter system is now at its breaking point with over 61,000 people. Our shelter system is now operating near 100% capacity. But homeless advocates say it's unfair to blame overflowing shelters on the influx of asylum seekers. Instead, it is a crisis years in the making born out of the lack of affordable housing. The city keeps proposing these rather far-fetched ideas like tents and cruise ships. And what we really need is permanent housing for people. And that's really where we think the administration should be focusing their efforts. Earlier this week, Adams scrapped plans to house migrants in tents on Orchard Beach, moving the encampment over to Randall's Island instead, which has also drawn criticism from city council members, among others. The mayor fired back at the naysayers, telling them to tone down the rhetoric. Meanwhile, Governor Greg Abbott of Texas is doubling down, tweeting New York City is only experiencing a fraction of what border communities in his state face, and he will continue to send migrants here. Our social services and our values are being exploited by others for political gain. New Yorkers are angry. I am angry too. And Mayor Adams also wants the asylum worker, uh, asylum seekers rather, to be able to work immediately instead of under the current law, which is when they would have to wait six months before getting to work.